Yo, what's up? What's up? Stevie, this is Cunningham here. I want to talk about uh, the different um, styles of, of, of training or, or basically my style of training when I'm training uh, everyone, you know, my sons, somebody else's children. Um, you know, I have, I have children from 7 to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you know, all ages here I'm training. So uh, I was speaking to one of the fathers yesterday and he brought up like, well, you know, your training style is a little rougher, you know. So I'm like, I'm like, bro, you know what I mean? This this boxing, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm a former world champion, two-time world champion. I was a national, amateur national champion. Um, I know what it takes, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I know what it takes. I know about having a push. I know about um, de needing defense. You know, I had to let them know, like, bro, this isn't a, um, and it wasn't a negative combo, but I'm like, yo, this ain't a game, man. Boxing is not a game on any level. We can have fun, and we're going to have fun. When you have fun, even in some losses, you did your thing, you just didn't beat them. We're going to have fun, but this ain't a game. Boxing ain't a game. People really get hurt. Children get hurt. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten-year-olds. On that level, I'm, uh, I'm very vocal and loud, you know. I'm yelling at these guys. I'm yelling at the little, the little children. I got an eight-year-old, two-time national champion. I yell at him like crazy. Why? Because I've been training him for, for man since day one. So he knows better than to drop his hands. You don't know why you're dropping your hands. You don't know why Floyd drops his hand. They, they don't understand the shoulder roll. Uh, I haven't taught them that, especially my guys. I don't teach the shoulder roll. That's not even nothing you can do right now. You know what I'm saying? For eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds. So I really get on my guys about keeping their hands up. You know, get them hands up, and then. So from that age of seven, eight, nine, you know, 10, 11, if I'm still having to yell at you for keeping your hands up, then we got a problem. You know what I mean? If I had you from, from a long time, we got a serious problem. Something needs to be reevaluated. You know what I mean? Um, prime example of my, my, my firstborn, Steve Jr. I've uh, been training him since he was six years old. And I yelled at him. I yelled at him like crazy. You know, people, people from James Shuler, they know they saw it. And, uh, but once he got to a certain age, about 12, 11, 12, it was just like, I had to just make hand movements. He knew exactly what I wanted, you know, on, especially on the mitts, this and that, give me that and our cold words and stuff. So that's the level he's at now. I don't have to yell at him, you know, uh, about keeping your hands up. He knows it because it's, it's been ingrained in his foundation, this, boom, boom, you know, head movement. Uh, so yeah, I yell a lot at the little guys, you know? Um, hey, if, if, if you can't stand yelling, then boxing ain't for you because it's going it's, it's gonna to be even rougher when you get your butt kicked. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you get knocked out, can you handle that? You know? So, yeah, my, my, my style of training is in stages at 7, 8, 9, 10, even some, some of these guys at 11. I'm constantly on them yelling hey man do this do that if i see it wrong and i tell the kids yo when i come in i don't want to have to yell today you know but i know i am you know because they're little guys they're, they're, their attention span is, is is few far in between you know they're 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 on the back looking at some other stuff sometimes so I'm, I'm on these guys tough now if if i have a child and he's not responding he or she's not responding here at here at the uss fight academy we have levels we have levels. Um, we have other trainers, you know, a couple other trainers. So if I'm working with a kid, a, a fighter, an athlete, a young 8, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, any, true, even men, grown men, you know, if I'm working with these guys and they're not showing me what I need, I'm wasting my time. You know what I mean? I'm wasting my time. Hey, instead of kicking them out or, 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 or just being like, bruh, we can't work together. I push him off to one of my other trainers. Hey, maybe he can he can get something out of him that I couldn't, you know. Um, and, and and we're all on the same you know training mentality. We sit down and have talks. This is what we want from this guy, that guy, that fighter. This is what we want. So uh, there's different levels in my gym, you know. Of uh, there's a hierarchy in this gym. I don't know if anybody else does it. I do it like that. Some guys we are on the national level. These are guys we, we darn well know they go into the nationals. They perform at the nationals. Some don't win the national championships, but they perform there. They don't they don't uh, shut down. They don't freak out. They good. All right, we taking him, him, her, him, and him to the nationals with us. Some of these other guys, hey, he's not national material. He or she's not national material. So you're going to just fight in state. You're going to just fight. You know, we we get fights in Cleveland. We get fights in Ohio, Philly. 
Jersey, um, you know, Delaware, Baltimore. We'll get little singular fights. This cat's not not national material, but he, he, he can rumble, you know, here and there. Then there's another level of, hey, this dude's just a Golden Gloves fighter, you know? Some some people have come to me and like, all I want to do is get ready for Golden Gloves. That's great. That's awesome. I'm with that, you know what I mean? Thank you for telling me, you know what I mean? You, now you ain't wasting my time. Um, I got a guy who's here and he gets ready. He's like, I, I just want to I want to go to Golden Gloves Nationals. I'm here, but he's here almost, every, you know, every uh, three, four times a week training, getting, putting in that work. So um, that that's what's up right there. Uh, but these are guys, there are levels in my gym. We are not, I am not wasting my time, all right? And then if you go to another, if, if the child goes to another trainer, and he's still not performing, then you're wasting his time too. Cause I got other, I got other fighters that that are performing, that do their running, that do their push-ups, that do their, you know, everything else. And then they're here constantly, consistently, and they're giving me what I need. They're showing me improvement. They're showing a want. You know what I mean? So uh, that's basically how we do it here in, in the USS Fight Academy, man. I'm I'm really I'm giving my team. Uh, what I got, you know what I mean? I had one, two. I had three trainers throughout my throughout my, my whole boxing career, three different trainers, three or four different trainers, and um, I learned from all of them, you know. And I I take pieces of of that and add it into, you know, my experience. And I've been boxing for what is it? It's gonna be 20 years, oh, 19 years, this November. You know what I mean? As a pro, as an amateur, shoot, you had four on that. I've been boxing 23 years. You know, now I'm not saying I know everything. I'm still learning, even as a fighter. You know, uh, which I haven't retired yet, and um, I'm still, you know, you, I'm still growing. So, but as a trainer, it's, it's you know, I'm very, I'm growing. I'm looking at other trainers. I'm listening. I'm looking at videos. I'm, I'm, I'm growing from that too. But my training style, I have different levels. So when you're, when your child, if your child is with me training, and and we go to, and he's, or she is X amount of age, and we've been together so long. And I shouldn't have to yell at him no more about the minuscule things about hands, about foot width, about crossing feet when you move. You know, that's, that's stuff we teach in the beginning, stuff we drill in the beginning. If you ain't got that yet and you're not, you're, you, then you have other levels of are you performing, you know, in the show when it's time to fight? Are you, how do you look when you come to the gym? Are you enthusiastic? Are you, you know what I mean? You, do you want to be there? Parents, don't force your children to box. Don't force them to box because boxing, again, is not a game. It's not to be played with. You know, you, like I said, you can have fun, you know, but don't force your children to box just because you want them to box. They can and will get hurt. That's just the simple truth, you know. Um, so how are they doing when they come to the gym? Are they performing good and smart? You know, are they performing in fights? So that's the things we look at here. That's that's how we do it. There's a hierarchy in my gym. There's a there's a system in my gym. If if they're not if they're not getting it good with me, getting in good with me, and not giving me what I need, then they go to another coach. You know, um, I'm gonna. The goal here is to make you know USS Cunningham um, kind of exclusive to to those who wanna really do it. You know, that's how we do it. Lastly. USS Fight Academy, man. This is my brand, you know. This is this is what I built um, from day one, but turned it into a brand about seven years ago. You know, started with my children, and uh, it's a brand, man. I, I'm, I'm gonna push this out there. This is my thing, you know. So you're gonna get Steve USS Cunningham in the USS Fight Academy. So everybody, I don't know if the coaches can feel me on that or not. Hey, man, it don't matter. This is how we do it here. All right, Shalom.